All right, welcome everybody. Today we're over here at Wat Go Praia Jing, which is a, uh, it's like a Mon style temple built in the uh, early Bangkok style. And this is a, a video that one of my viewers wanted me to come over and do. They recommended me to come over and check out this temple. So this is kind of an interesting building. It is uh, Bangkok era, but uh, it has some uh, Ayutthaya styling to it. And uh, it's just down here on the Chow Praia River. It's over here in uh, near uh, Pakret, which is like a suburb of Bangkok. And it's uh, kind of close to another temple that I did a video of where Rama V's wife died. And there's a memorial down by the river here also. But uh, what I wanted to see here is inside of this temple, there are uh, some of the Bangkok era murals. There's also a famous uh, Buddha image of like the uh, dying pose. So it's like the, the last moments of the Buddha and he'll be in a coffin with his legs standing, sticking out, which is uh, the symbol of uh, Buddha's death. So anyway, we're gonna go and uh, we'll look inside this building and we'll look around the temple and uh, let's see what we see. So here is the ordination hall. It's in really, really nice shape. Looks like it has some shutters up on top, actually, uh, that are closed. I've never seen that in the uh, in a temple styling before. If it has a, like a second floor up there, and then it has uh, has the gates here. Got a temple dog barking at me, of course. Now I've came over here before, and it's always been uh, locked up. So this is my third attempt at uh, trying to do a video of this temple. From the outside, it's, uh, it's spectacular. I really, really like this. It's early Bangkok. So, uh, you know, the styling will still have a lot of the uh, IUTI influence with the columns and everything. And it has a high, high threshold here. And there's just nobody here. There's uh, last time, I I came, I tried to get the monk to open it up, but he was uh, sleeping. There was sent a runner over to try to get the monk aw awake, but he was uh, unable to be disturbed. Okay, so here we are inside of this hall. It's kind of echoey. Those must be just faux windows up there because there's no access to a roof or anything. And here is the main Buddha. You can see the, uh, all the murals. This is what I really like. This is Bangkok style, which I like the older ones. I like the Ayutthaya style a little better, but I can always appreciate you know, good artwork. And you can see all of these uh, window shutters, they're all hand painted. I've been in the temples before and watched the guys paint those by hand. It's just, uh, painstaking, I mean, just all that detail. And they'll sit there all day and just paint these. And then they also paint these murals. They just start on like the left and they'll just paint all the way from the floor up to the ceiling straight across. There'll be like two guys like on different levels of the scaffolding and they'll be painting this. So here is what this temple is known for. This is the Buddha that's imitating the death pose and his feet are sticking out of the coffin. And it's uh, inspired by like the Mon belief that that's how he was, uh, he was cremated, just like that. You can see the top knot and everything. It's quite nice. I mean, it's a, it's a nice little Buddha image. And then some more of the murals. And then let's take a look at the main Buddha. Oh, this is nice. I haven't seen one with the, uh, these white flower swan things before. Oh, that's interesting. It's got two of them, one on each side. And this hall has no lights in it. Looks like there's one light up above the uh, Buddha, but it's off. Oh, and it does have a couple chandeliers. Yeah, so it's kind of dark in here, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out on, on the video. Should be okay. And then all the murals here. You can see the, uh, the goddess of the earth where she wrings the hair out and uh, drains the water. 
Yeah, this is a nice hall. This is kind of interesting. So they have these heavy wooden doors behind the Buddha, and it's got these paintings of these uh, foreigners. And then it has like the Bodai tree looking thing, and the fish, and all kinds of stuff. And you can see where the murals have kind of faded here along the, uh, the lower part. And it does have some doors here, but it's all closed off so you can't see what's back in there. So I do wonder if there might be like a second floor way up high, maybe uh, explains those little shutters up there. So you can see out here, these are the marker stones around the ordination hall. And there's actually like a Thai tour. Some uh, local Thais are going on uh, a tour of this temple, which is kind of cool. All right, let's look around the temple. Let's go over towards the river now. Next to the uh, ordination hall, they have this little uh, shrine over here with all the Buddhas. And then it has uh, the Buddha footprint, all the normal stuff that you see. These are all the days of the week Buddha. So the Thais will come here and they'll pray and uh, burn the Joe sticks and even offering and stuff like that. At this temple, there's more than just a little ordination hall, but most of it is like the general purpose buildings that you see and they're all like the new style. That uh, ordination hall was definitely the uh, pride and joy of this temple. This, I guess, was built by like a Mon army commander that you know, kind of defected from uh, the Burmese side over here to uh, the Thai side. So they built this, and there was a lot of Mons that settled in this area. There's quite a few of them, and if you go over to Kokret, the island, they, uh, that was a Mon community also. The land was given to the Mons by, the, uh, uh, by King Taxon. So they came over and they settled in this area. And uh, they're, you, know, you still see like the writing and stuff like that, as well as the uh, influence in the buildings. Okay, so we're gonna go over and let's look at the river and we'll see the little shrine to uh, Rama V's wife. This is the little shrine to Rama V's wife. Now just up the river from here was a boat accident and Rama V's wife and a young child, and she was also pregnant. All of them died in a boat accident. So Rama V uh, built like a little like a little palace looking thing on the river. And there's a temple just to the north here that has, um, has a lot more to do with that because she died in the chow pray just right up there by it. So uh, this is what this is for. It's for the broken heart of Rama V. And here's a picture of her with the young daughter. She's the one that died. And it was just in a little freak boating accident. And the boat is actually at Wat Go. And I'll pin a comment about that temple in this video. So if you want to see a little bit more about Rama V's uh, wife and everything else, you can see that. And it's also a cool temple. It has a nice uh, reclining Buddha and everything else. And here's the little entryway. There is a pier here at this temple and I got it sandbagged right now. So they must be expecting the Chow Praya to get up pretty high. They have it sandbagged here. Let's take a look at the river. This will be the last thing we take a look at. They have a pier. Looks like they have a place here to feed the fish and stuff. And then you can see all along the Chow Praya. This river is so massive. And here's the river. We have a speedboat going by. It's pretty tranquil other than the, the boat. There's a temple across the way. And then right over there you can see that is Rama 4 Bridge. And Pat Cret is right on the other side of it. Now there's a pier here, but I don't think you can get here on a, like a tour boat. You'd have to hire out a special boat. And uh, there's like a pontoon boat. But you could hire out a special boat, one of the long towels, and they could bring you up here to this temple pretty easy. And then just up to the north of this temple, right over there past that uh, power pole, that's where uh, Rama V's wife died in the boating accident. So uh, yeah, this is a humongous river. This is the Chow Prime. You can see they got some of the little figures and stuff out here on the, on the bank. Those boats going by cut some serious waves. The entrance into the temple and then all those sandbags. All right, let's look down over here. There's a little bit more along the way. This is kind of a random little boat. Yeah, they have a concrete walkway that leads outside of this temple. The guy said there's something over here to take a look at, so let's go see. This is part of the little uh, river community right here next to the river. All right, looks like it's a little underwater. Oh, sorry, cop. Little lady over here. 
Okay, so I didn't expect this. So that uh, young boy, he directed us over here. Here is the actual shrine. And it's quite a ways away from the temple. You gotta go along the river. And uh, so here it is. Looks like they have to pump water out of it also. And then there's a little data plate over there. We'll take a look at it here in a sec. But yeah, this is really nice. This little jetty is uh, the one that's built for the, uh, the king's wife. Yeah, they got a little shrine data plate here. It's all in Thai. So I'll record it if anybody wants to uh, try to get a screenshot and uh, do a Google Translate, you can. Yeah, so this explains a little bit of the randomness that you see in Thailand. So this is like a warehouse or something and it's right behind it. So this building has built, been built up ever before the, or after they uh, built that shrine. So the, random, the local people have built this little like gazebo thing right here on the river in honor of the queen for her to die. And it does look like there's a place for boats and stuff like that to pull up. So maybe the ties will come here and they will, uh, they will stop and uh, go up to that little shrine. So this, this house here, you can see that used to be the bathroom. There's still a toilet there. And then they got a toilet over there also. So uh, somebody could walk up there. That you can see the walkway is completely gone. But the building here has been demolished. And you can see how the rest of them are built. They're built up here on these stilts. You can see the little walkway down here. This is kind of a cool little place. You got all these houses down here on the river. This young boy is happy to be a little bit of a guide. You can see how they're built. They're just these little wooden uh, shacks basically built on the river. And uh, the old lady that when we were walking over here said to hurry. You can see that just goes out to their house. She said to hurry because the tide is coming in and the walkway was already partially covered in water. So uh, high tide, this could be, uh, could be ugly. You can see this is the watermark here on the building. So uh, it could get up like three, four more feet here. So all these people, you know, they probably just come and go by boat. And then you can see all the debris that's washed up on the, uh, on the sidewalk here. And here's their house again. So this is where they have like these water pots. And then the water is definitely getting a little higher here. You can see the people are out here. They, this is how they live right here on the, on the river. Kind of a nice little house. And then they get their walkway out here. And then they, uh, they use this, they grow stuff here, so they'll have fish and everything in here. So, so the lady actually, she told us that if I want, I can go swimming in here, but I think I'll pass on that. But they, uh, they grow this little plant and then they sell it. And then they also have the fish in there and they, uh, they catch those and they'll sell them also. So in about 10 minutes, the water is already starting to come over this. And it's just a random little concrete walkway that goes along the Chow Praia here. And you can see that goes over there to that little shrine. All right, so there goes that little boy. He was nice enough to show over there to that temple or that little shrine. That was pretty interesting. Kind of different going down through uh, that, uh, that area with all the water and everything. Anyway, that was kind of cool. I enjoyed that. It was fun to see the houses and everything. So anyway, this uh, finishes up our little tour of this temple. This was uh, one, of my, one of my viewers wanted to see. Uh, he said he's been by here several times and has never been able to come over to this temple because of the temple dogs that will bark and growl at him. So anyway, I got to go over here and explore it and I had a good time. So hopefully you did too. I, uh, I liked it. I really liked that ordination hall with the murals and, and all of that. And it was kind of interesting to go down along the river. So if you like it, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new to it. This is what I do. I go show you things that uh, you normally don't get the chance to see. It's uh, away from where the tourists usually go. I like to go and kind of explore and I came over here today on my motorcycle, so uh, I don't regret it. So uh, subscribe, you get notified when I post a new video. Share it with your friends if you would like, and like and leave me a comment. Tell me if you wanna see something different, and uh, I'll do my best to go make a video of it if I can. So as always guys, from uh, here in Natanaburi, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.